Hi guys, welcome back. This is part 19. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made these stone floors using paper cup trays. These are paper cup trays that you get through fast food places uh, like McDonald's and Wendy's and places like that when you order a coffee or a drink. They usually give you a, a cup tray. Uh, it's the same material that you'll find in some egg cartons. So if you look online and you type in egg carton stones, all the tutorials that you see there, you can use paper cup trays for as well. So it's the same material. This is not my idea. This has been around for a very long time. Uh, the first one I saw was in 2011, and it was Victoria Miniland, and they did egg carton bricks. They did tiny little bricks, and they made them out of egg cartons. So I started using these in about, I think, 2014. I started using paper cup trays for making stonework in my gnome home. So in the tree, I've done three different floors now. One of them, I cut all the stones. And then the other two floors, I just tore them up. So it's all just torn. And you can make these any size. I like to just tear them. And then I dip them in glue and put them down. And for me, that works brilliantly. I, I really love the way it looks. But you can spend a lot of time. It depends on what you want to do. You can spend a lot of time on this and cut each one. And you can make tiny little bricks. You can cut each one to fit each the next one and do like a puzzle thing. Um, it all depends on what you want to do. For me, I just I keep it as simple as can be because I like to do things as quick as possible. So I'm going to take you to the first floor that I did in the tree. And the first one, I actually cut all the, the stones to give them like a flagstone look. And yeah, so let's just head over there and I'll show you what I mean. So this is going to be a bathroom floor. And I was trying to go for something a little bit different than I normally do because like I said, I normally rip them up. But for this one, I decided to cut each one. I didn't cut them to fit each other. I just cut each one to have uh, flat edges. And I just laid them down to fill up the space. I didn't do any particular design. What I did for this floor was I brushed the glue onto the base floor. So I put a liberal amount of glue down. And then I stuck each stone into the glue. When it was all done, then I brushed on another coat of glue. Once that was dry, I colored a few of the stones with some chalk. And then a coat of varathene over everything. But I'm going to go over that in the next two floors. So let's head over there and I'll show you the next two floors. So this is the bottom floor. So there's the kitchen, dining room. This is going to be like a mud room right here. And this is going to be the front entrance. So I wanted these two to look slightly different from each other because there's going to be bark put on here and there's going to be a wooden door put in here as well. So this is going to be a, like a separate entrance from here. So these stones here, you can see, they were ripped. I tore up all of these. I didn't lay them down in any particular design. I just dipped them right into the glue and then laid them down. And I do have some clips on this one, which we'll get to after we watch this one. So this one is different from this one, like I said, uh, in the way that I uh, colored the stone after I was all done. And I also did some grout work on this one as well, which I found out after that we don't really need grout. <laughs> um, this one has no grout. All I did was paint in between the stones. So anyway, I go over all that in the next few clips. So let's check that out. All right, guys, now normally I don't work out a pattern or get them to fit like this before I glue them down. I'm just showing that, showing you that it can be done that way. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to dip it right into my bowl of glue. And again, you don't have to do it that way. You can brush the glue on, stick the thing down, and then brush the glue over top. It totally depends on what you want to do. Um, and there's no right or wrong way at all, really. There really isn't. Um, the way I'm doing it doesn't mean it's the right way. It doesn't mean it's the wrong way. It's just the way I do it. All right, so I'm just going to push those other ones out of the way. And I just get really messy. <laughs> I know some people probably will cringe and say, why not use a paintbrush? And it's just, I don't know, it's just personal preference. Uh, when I did the, that floor I just showed you with the, uh, with them all cut and then I painted them, painted the glue on, uh, I was just like, oh, I wish I could just dip this. So it just really depends on what you want to do with it.
So you can see now this is mostly dry, but you can see these larger gaps in here. Um, those happen when the thing, when the pieces shrink as they're drying, you'll get those gaps. And also I didn't really bother to fit them together so carefully. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some groat and I'm making my own from the same compound that I put on the walls. And then I just added a little bit of gray paint and I'm just going to mix it in there because when this dries, it dries rather white. Like I said, you can do so many things with this. This is just, I'm, this is the first for me. I've never colored this before to use it as grout. I've never done that before, so I'm doing it for the first time. It doesn't mean that I, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to try it out. Okay, so I'm just using a Scott towel. I'm just going to pull it over all my work. And I'm also going to be wiping it off after I get this on. <laughs> I'm going to wipe it off the stones. All right, so I just grabbed a wet cloth and I'm just going to wash those stones off. All right, guys, I think this is almost dry. So you can see that even though I washed off the stones, that you, there is still some of that grout left on top, or plaster, I should say. Um, but it filled in nicely all the cracks. So now I'm taking a storm cloud gray acrylic paint, and I'm just going to go over a little bit. I'm just going to wet my brush in the water. And I'm just going to take a little bit and just uh, go over some of the some of the stones, just like that. And this part is not necessary. I'm just adding a little bit more color in some of those areas that got uh, the grout on it that didn't come off. I'm just going over some of that. That's all I'm doing. And it is, again, not necessary. It's just something that I do. All right, so I could leave that the way it is. I really could. And I would, what I would do is just put a varnish over top, like my very thing that I, I use on everything. I'm going to varnish that. But before I do, I like to add a little bit of color. And this is a soft pastel set. It's like chalk, more or less like chalk. And I think cheap chalk that you can find for chalkboards, different colored chalks like that would work as well. All right, so I just take my finger and I'm just going to run it along the chalk, just like that. And I just lightly go over whatever stone I want to put the color on. And if it doesn't spread out so nice, then I take my finger, dip it in a little bit of water, and just rub it in. And that gets the color to go all around. Sometimes the color just goes on real nice and you don't have to add any water to it. All right, guys, I... Before I went to bed last night, I put all the stones down in this room, next door to this one here. And this is going to be the entrance, remember? Um, so that's why I put a little bit different look there. I wanted it, it to be separate from the stone inside this room here. And once I get bark up and everything, you'll see why it's separated. Anyway, um, I tore the stones and I just laid them down as they were. I didn't worry too much about fitting them together. And you can see there's some big gaps there. And I don't want to put grout down today because I love the color of these stones. I don't want to change the color at all. So I'm just trying something. Um, I've got dark gray. This is medium gray acrylic, satin acrylic. And I am just took a fine tip uh, paintbrush and I'm just going in between the where I see the big gaps and see if I can just take care of it doing this way because I don't want to change anything about these stones. I love them. So I don't want to put any grout on them or any chalk or any paint. I just want to make them look a little bit better. So I think that's what I'm going to do and I'll see how that turns out. Well, I think that turned out really well. I'm pretty happy with that. And it looks, I mean, you can't tell the difference between which one has grout and which one doesn't, except for the color. 
I think for the next one I do, I'd probably paint in between the stones again. Uh, in my gnome home, I never really did, I don't think I ever painted in between the stones. They all turned out really great. I don't think I did any painting, but I think it's something I will do again in the future because I do love that look right there. That looks pretty awesome. All right, so now I'm going to put a coat of Varathane, and that's just a clear sealer. It's a matte finish. And I put that on everything. It just makes things easier to clean in the future. Well, I have to say I'm pretty pleased with my stone floors. I'm really happy with how they turned out. All three of my floors. This one, this one, and the bathroom floor. So you can use paper cup trays and egg cartons to make chimneys, fireplaces, stones, bricks. You can also use them on walls. I've seen lots of fantastic uh, projects done. You just have to look online. You can type in egg carton stones. Um, I don't think there's much under paper cup trays, but if you look up egg carton stones, you'll find a lot online. And remember, you can use paper cup trays for anything that's been used with um, egg cartons. You can use paper cup trays for it as well. Alright, I think we'll end the video there. And I'm not sure what the next one will be at the time of this filming. I don't have the next one ready, but when it becomes available, it will be popping up on your screen. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.